take a seat, so don't move. This is for most improved player at Lyman Camp. I was 11. How'd you find me? What the hell are you doing? Championship trophy. Steelers. We were nine. Remember this shit? Playing Pee Wee? Yeah. It's fun. No, it would. I remember getting yelled at. Too fat, Billy Bob! Too slow and dumb! We're just little kids, Moss. Just little kids. It's like nothing was never good enough. It's almost over. No. It's over, man. It's just so over. Come on. What? I said bullshit. What? You know that fucking football bullshit get you? Fucking Kilmer, you're gonna let Kilmer win? What am I supposed to do, huh? Why don't you fucking tell me? Quit! Fuck it! Who gives a flying fuck about Bud Kilmer's 23rd District Championship? I don't! I do! I do! Man, coach loved me like his son. Treat me like one too. He told me to protect Lance and I didn't. I fucked everything up, man. Kilmer fucked up and every single player on that team knows it. That's where you're wrong, Moss. You're wrong. Look, we got one more game left. And we need you. I need you. Who the fuck's gonna protect my ass, huh? Come on. Your bony ass? I don't think I have a bony ass. I don't think I have a very nice ass. It is kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Cyberland coming back to you to another film review. And this time I'm moving on to one of my favorite, favorite sports films. There's really, um, I really would say I have my, like I've seen a bunch, but I have these specific three and this is one. I don't have like a, like the top and one, but these, I would put these in one or two or three or one, two, you know, just like that. But uh, one of my, one of my favorite sports films. I remember when Varsity Blues was showing previews on MTV. Yes, MTV back then when I used to play music and not reality TV. And I was really excited to see it. I knew I wasn't going to go to theaters to see it, but I was looking forward to seeing it when it came out. 
and I, I just I just had this feeling. Even though, you know, James Friend would be and Dawson's Creek and all that stuff, I didn't really care about that. Um, I just liked, I knew John Boy was a good actor. And from what the trailer looked like, I, I had anticipation it was going to be a great film. And, um, you know, you just, you just kind of see those things. And, and yeah, so <laughs> the film follows a guy named James Vanderbeek, Vanderbeek's character, Moxon. And it's just about football. Um, how football is outside of God in, in uh, I think it's Arlington, if I'm not, well, it's in Texas, but outside of God, God in football, that's just how everybody is in that town. And that's what they value. That always comes first. And there's a lot of politics. A lot of bullshit, a lot, a lot of lies, a lot of hidden um, truths that are being that are being ignored just because it's football and it's all that matters. And we see little by little that Moxon is not okay with the, the hypocrisy and the bullshit, and he's been fighting with uh, John Voight's char character every step of the way, one way or another. And then you have other players who are just trying to get by. You have other players who know what's going on, but they party to kind of numb the pain. And then you have other players who actually have serious injur injuries, but they're not um, they're not taking care of it because Mr. Bud Kilmer, all he cares about is winning championships and he doesn't care about the players. They're expendable to him. The soundtrack was great. I know a lot of the music from the, from the film, most of the bands I listen to, so that, I was just like, oh, that was, a, that was a plus for me. As far as the actors, Amy Smart, um, Ali Larder, uh, Paul Walker, James Vanderbeek. I uh, forget the other guy's name, he's in the Ocean series, we'll get some reviews on him. Uh, oh, Steve Kane, I think it's Steve Kane. He, uh, he was great. Um, and then, of course, the, the legendary John Boyd, you know, he was great. Um, you know, everybody had a good part to play. And it just showed um, not everything is what it seems, but that these guys went through a lot. Like, and it makes me wonder, and then this is no shade at my former high school or any other high school, it just makes me wonder if, you know, do, do these things go on? Like, are these, is this what a lot of players dealt with emotionally, physically, and physically, and possibly spiritually when they were playing for these varsity teams? Is this the type of shit that they had to put up with? I, I was never part of that. But it, it does um, make me reflect and just wonder, you know, did that, did those things happen? Um... And did the players just kind of ride with it, or did they, how did they cope? We see a lot of drug use, and I don't mean snorting coke, I just mean a lot of pills, but more so because of the pain. It's not because these people are, are addicted to drugs. Well, maybe, I, you know, it's just not drug use as apparent, just alcohol um, drinking, but drug use is not apparent at all, so, at least from what I've seen. As far as my rating, I gave it a five out of five. Yes, sirs. There wasn't anything I didn't like. There is some, there is some nudity. For uh, you know, this heads up. <laughs> but otherwise, it was a great film. It was entertaining. I loved every minute of it. And it's one of those films. I, I don't know. Some people consider it classic, but it's one of those films that I can always go to when I want. When I want to just be in a sports mood. Besides the other two uh, football films I love, um, this is always the other one that I'll always go to and watch because it's just, it reminds me of high school to some degree, but it's just fun. Like, it does have messages in it, and they are important, but it's just overall, it's just fun. It's, yeah, it just, I guess, help maybe reminisce about high school to some degree. Overall, it's a great film. Yeah, so with that being said, never seen it. You should check it out. I think it's it's, it's still a film that's relevant. 
Unfortunately, two of the actors, uh, the guy who played Billy Bob and of course Paul Walker, are no longer with us. Um, but it's still entertaining. It's fun, and it's it's relevant. You could, you know, I think sports films, especially when they dig into not the game but more so everything behind the scenes, if it's if it's uh, prevalent, they do that. I think those films hold up a lot more than just the, the game part of it. Things that go on behind the scenes because it's the, those things obviously do happen. So, with that being said. Ladies and gents, I will catch you on the next one. Take care.